in this video we will discuss about uh, vortex flow meter so vortex flow meter uh, is based upon the natural phenomena uh, that is vortex shedding that is discovered by the Todor war Corman. so what is vortex shedding so whenever a bluff body so a non stimulant object that is placed in the fluid flow it may be gas or liquid so a series of vortices are formed on the downstream side of this uh, bluff body and this is known as vortex shedding and this is also known as von Karman vortex sheet and uh, this is a natural phenomena you can see everywhere so the common example is the pole uh, flag uh, so the pole itself acting as the bluff body so whenever air passes through the pole it causes a series of uh, low uh, and high pressure vortices so because of this the flag flutters and the same phenomena is observed uh, in the fly aeroplane that is uh, uh, flying and this phenomena we are using in the vortex flow meter for the measurement of the fluid flow that is volumetric flow rate so so here see the uh, width of this block body is d so l is the, the uh, uh, distance between the or interval between the vortices that is on the one side of uh, the bluff body so whole number is a, a dimensional uh, number that is used for the analysis of the oscillating unsteady fluid flow problems so here we are having an oscillating flow uh, in this vortex flow meter so whole number will come into picture so Stahol de de determined that as long as Reynolds number so Reynolds number is also dimensional number that gives the relationship between the diameter of the pipe velocity of the flow and also the viscosity so then by using Reynolds number you can tell whether the flow is a laminar flow or a turbulent flow and what the Stohol determined that um, for this Reynolds number that of the fluid flow stream that is between 20,000 and uh, around uh, um, 20 lakhs so mainly this is a turbulent flow the Stohol number uh, is 0.17 so and the Stohol number is the ratio of the shutter width which you have seen above is the width of your uh, bluff body and the vortex interval so that is the uh, interval between the vortices that is forming on the downstream side of your uh, uh, bluff body so this one Corman is also noticed that the distance between the shed vertices which we have seen distance between the shed vertices that is flowing on the that is formed on the downstream side of your bluff body is constant and it is independent of your flow velocity and it is only a function of the diameter of your bluff body d and when the flow rate increases that is velocity increases so the number of vertices per unit uh, time increase means frequency increase without having any change in the distance between the shedding vertices uh, so what is flow meter principle we see so the formula for the um, if, uh, velocity of the fluid flow equal to v is equal to f into df is the frequency of this uh, shedding frequency or uh, vertices formation into the diameter of the block body b to whole number so whole number which we have already discussed the ratio between the block body diameter to the vortex interval so if we already if it is in the reynolds number of uh, 20000 to 7 it is given by 0.17 so on the one side of the block body where the vertex is uh, formed so the fluid velocity is higher and the pressure is lower so um, this causes so because of this so these vertices are caused by the swelling of the fluid flow into low pressure area behind the block body so and the majority of the vertex flow meters will use piezoelectric or capacitor type sensor to detect the pressure oscillation around the block body so the pressure variations that is caused by the vortex setting is uh, measured by using an uh, fissure resistive type or capacitive type sensors so which uh, itself will measure the frequency of this vortex setting and that is related to the velocity of the fluid flow so we see here the lower flow rate the frequency of the vortices that is formed is low and for higher flow rates the frequency that is uh, will be higher and this frequency is directly proportional to the velocity and we know the volumetric flow rate equal to area of uh, your pipe into the velocity then we will get finally the uh, volumetric flow rate if you want uh, the um, mass flow rate if you multiply the volumetric flow rate by density of the fluid flow we will get the mass flow rate 
so how do you measure the frequency of the vertices so how uh, this uh, um, vertices are formed so whenever the fluid is uh, flowing around uh, the blob body so a low pressure and high pressure regions will be developed around the um, blob body so and this low and high pressure will cause a differential pressure uh, across the blob body so the higher pressure side of the dp differential exerts stress on the shedding bar in the direction of the low pressure so as the location of the low pressure side alternates means reverses due to the vertices that is switching from one side to other side so there is a change in the direction of the force that is caused on the shedding bar and this causing the blob body or shedding bar to oscillate and this oscillation equal to the vortex uh, frequency so the commonly used methods for measurement of this vortex frequency is capacitive type sensor which we have already discussed or piezo resistive type sensors or piezoelectric type um, crystal sensors so this is the um, typical arrangement of these piezo resistive elements so they are uh, connected uh, so in the uh, one is connected near to the blob body and one is somewhat away from the blob body so which will measure uh, this uh, frequency of the vertices so the here we are using two piezo uh, electric uh, um, sensors so which will cancel out also the noise and which will give the clear uh, uh, correct uh, measurement of uh, the vertex frequency so generally the triangular shaped vertex setting object are generally used uh, because it is having a reproducible uh, frequencies with variable flow rate so if you see in the figure so Stroll number versus Reynolds number if you see a round sided block body which having a variation with Reynolds number whereas if you see a sharp edged uh, triangle shaped vortex uh, block body so which is very uh, shows the Stroll number is very linear with respect to the Reynolds number so the most commonly used uh, the block body for vortex flow meter is triangle shaped uh, block body so advantage and disadvantage of vortex flow meters so they are suitable for liquid gas steam and it is having a very low installation cost mm, and also is having a high wide rangeability and low maintenance and easily accessible and interchangeable spare parts and disadvantage they are not suitable for the services that are dirty abrasive liquids or for low uh, um, Reynolds numbers because the low Reynolds number will um, not uh, cause sufficient vortices that is detected by that need to be detected by the uh, frequency detecting devices and uh, substantial straightens are required both upstream and downstream suppose if there is any um, pumping device or any obstruction in the flow path so uh, this or uh, what is this uh, um, what is flow meter will requires uh, sufficient uh, straight length in both the upstream and one downstream this is uh, one of the disadvantage so thank you for watching my video